Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Heideman here. Today we are going to look at lesson 14. Can you believe it? Lesson 14. And today's learning objective is that by the end of this lesson, students will be able to add 10 to a two digit number and subtract 10 from a two digit number using something we call mental computation. Now, boys and girls, this is a big word for us second graders, but here is what mental computation is. Mental computation is when you quickly compute or estimate or figure out something. You don't have to use too much brain power, okay? You quickly solve something. You kind of just see it and you know it. You don't have to take the time to add or subtract or multiply. You use mental computation, okay? So here we are going to look at our 100 chart. And we're going to practice looking at a number and quickly adding 10 or subtracting 10 from that two digit number, okay? So let's take a look at this 100 chart here. Here I've circled the number 37, three tens, seven ones. So we're going to practice adding 10 and subtracting 10 today. What if I wanted to add 10 to 37? Well, I could start at 37 and count up 10. So 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and I end up with 47. Where was that number located? Ah, it was just below 37. Okay, so 37 plus 10 equals 47. What if we use that same kind of pattern to solve another adding 10? Here we have 42. I want to figure out 42 plus 10. We know I could count up 10 squares or I could end up at the one below, the number below. So if I'm thinking to myself, what number on the 100 chart is below 42? Well, that's 52. So 42 plus 10 equals 52. Let's take a look at another one. 56 plus 10. 56, if I sit here and add 10, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. But guess what? Again, that number is directly under the number I started with because in each row, there are 10. Let's take a look at a third example. How about 79? 79 plus 10, I just go down one row. 79 plus 10, you're just adding a 10. Seven tens plus one 10 equals eight 10. Let's try some minus 10 problems. So using mental computation to subtract 10. What do you think 47 minus 10 is? Four tens, seven ones. Well, let's minus 10. So 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37. 47 minus 10 equals 37. Four tens minus one ten equals three tens, and the ones stay the same. We'll be looking at more base 10 blocks in our live session. Let's try 52 minus 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle 52, and if our pattern stays true, then it's going to be, the answer will be one row above, 42. Let's try 66 minus 10. 66 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Of 
course, it's 56. Six tens minus one ten equals five tens. Five tens and the one stay the same. Last one. What about 89? 89 minus 10. Eight tens minus one ten equals seven tens. And the ones stay the same. 89 minus 10 equals 79. All right, we're gonna take a look at some base 10 blocks. So here we have some base 10 blocks. Ones, tens, and hundreds. We have one one, one ten, one hundred. There are 10 ones in a 10. There are 10 tens in a hundred. So let's take a look at the number 235. There are two hundreds, three tens, and five ones. So we represent that with our hundreds, two hundreds, plus three tens in yellow, plus five ones, okay? Now, what if we wanted to add a 10 to that? What if we wanted to add 110 to 235? So here I have 235 plus 10 and that standard algorithm, all right? So we're adding 110, a 10, one base 10 block, a 10, all right? So I'm going to draw, add one extra 10. So here we have one of our 10s. And I'm going to try and represent that showing 10 ones filling in that one 10. Okay. So what do we end up with? Well, we still have the same amount of hundreds too, but we did end up with an extra 10. So now we don't have three tens. We have four tens. Okay. And we can also show that by saying, four tens. So we have five ones plus zero ones. We're left with the same amount of ones, five ones. Two hundreds stay the same. We're not adding any hundreds to that. So plus zero hundreds, you still end up with two. So two hundreds plus four tens plus five ones gets you to 245. Okay, so 200 plus 0 hundred equals 2 hundreds, 3 tens plus 1 10 equals 4 tens, and 5 ones plus 0 ones equals 5 ones, 245. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all of this, and we're going to take a look at what happens when you add a hundred, okay? So we're going to start out with the same amount, but instead of adding a 10, we're going to add a 1 100. So you see we wrote that in the 100 spot. We're not adding any 10s and we're not adding any 1s. So let's see what that will look like when we add a 100. And as you guys know, there's 100 1s in a 100. So we, let's go ahead and make sure we have that, okay. And now when we add them together, 200 plus, go ahead and copy that, 200 plus one more hundred, there we go, equals three hundreds, one, two, three, three one hundreds, all right? And each of those contain 100 ones. So we end up with one, 200 plus 100 equals 300, three tens, plus zero tens, you're still with three tens. Nothing changes in the tens place. Let's take a look at the ones place. Five ones plus no more ones, we're not adding any ones, equals five ones. So 335. Three hundreds plus three tens plus five ones, all right? So starting to decompose those numbers by place value will help you to solve those numbers more quickly when adding and subtracting. All right, boys and girls, continue to use that special power, that something we call 
mental computation. And we'll talk more about that during our live session today. All right. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.